Hi, everybody. You might occasionally need to draw polygons or lines to add features to a map, a process called digitizing. QGIS has tools for this, but they are pretty limited. The main problem is they can only create straight line segments. This is usually okay for adding features like parks, but in many cases curved lines would look better, especially for features like rivers. In this video, I'll cover two ways to create curved shapes in QGIS. Geometry Shapes Plugin. This plugin lets you draw common shapes such as circles and squares. First, you need to create a new shapefile layer and set the geometry to polygon, so I'll do that now. You can select either a rectangle or oval shape from the toolbar, then click and drag to draw your shape. When you release the mouse button, a dialog box appears showing the size of the area. Holding down the shift key draws perfect squares or circles. The vertex tool lets you modify the original shapes. Select it and mouse over the shape and the corner points will appear. Click on the point and drag it to a new position. If you mouse over one of the sides, you can click to add a new point and then move it as needed. Here I'll select a point and move it to the right, then right click to set the shape. If you need to draw clean rectangles or ovals, this is a useful tool but it can't draw freeform curved shapes. Bezier Editing Plugin. This really useful plugin lets you draw smooth curves using a pen tool. It has two drawing tools, the Bezier tool and the freehand tool. Here are the tools. To use these tools, you first need to create a new shapefile layer set for either a line or polygon. I've already done that here. I'll try the freehand tool first with the polygon layer. Click on the icon and start drawing. This draws just like a pencil. Right click to close the polygon. Here's how that looks. The curves aren't very smooth. How important that is depends on what you're doing. If you're creating an irregular area, you probably don't need smooth curves, so this tool is ideal for that. If you want smooth curves, you'll need to use the Bezier tool. Using the Bezier tool can seem difficult at first. It's not intuitive and doesn't draw like a pencil. Bezier curves use control points and handles. It's like stretching a rubber band. Here are the basics. I've created a new shapefile layer set to line and selected the Bezier tool. First, I'll create a straight line section by clicking the mouse wherever I want to change direction, then right click to end the line. So far, this is no different from the regular QGIS line tool. Now we'll try a curved line. This time, instead of just clicking the mouse to create a control point, I'll click and drag at the same time. Here I'll click normally to set the first point, then click and drag to create the second point. As I drag, the curve is pulled out from the point. I can adjust the curve by moving it around. If I click on the second control point, I can move it, and the curve changes. I can also click on the handles, the lines that stick out from the control point, and move them to change the shape of the curve. The curve acts like a rubber band as I move the handle. Each of the control handles moves independently. Moving it in toward the control point reduces the curve size, Moving it away increases it. Here's a curve showing that. Once I draw the initial path, I can move the control points and handles to fine tune it. Drawing a closed shape with the Bezier tool works the same way. 
Make sure you create a new shapefile layer first and set the geometry to polygon or your shape won't close. I'll draw an oblong shape. To close the shape, click close to the first control point, then right click. Once your shape is done, you can tweak it by right clicking on it to activate the control points. Right click again to set the shape. Don't expect to draw perfect curves right away. It takes practice to use this tool. As a general rule, fewer points result in smoother curves. If you can handle the Bezier tool pretty well, that gives you the most flexibility, since it can draw curved and straight lines. Mouse over the tool and some additional options will appear. These let you control the shape more precisely. If you can't get the hang of it, use the freehand tool. It still looks better on curves than the regular polygon tool. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's it for now. See you next time.